Hey guys, Island Prepper here. I am back with a brand new invention. It's called Duralube. I'm sorry, Dura Blue. It's from uh, the company that makes uh, Dura Coat. Basically, what it is, it's a bluing compound that also turns hard like Dura Coat. I'm going to show you guys how to apply it. Uh, there's no other videos on the YouTube about it. They just brought it out at Shot Show. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. First off. You need to clean and strip your rifle. I didn't make a strip down of the rifle because uh, there's a million other videos on YouTube about it. This is a Marlin 3030. Uh, basically, you want to strip it down, take all the wood off of it, take everything else off of it. You don't want to paint. If you don't want to paint or take it off and it don't want paint on it, put some uh, tape on it. That way it doesn't get any of this bluing compound on it because it sets really hard like a uh, ceramic coating like Duracoat. So, uh, there's a lot of tight tolerances and stuff in there. You don't want to get your bolt painted and uh, not be able to open and close it smoothly anymore. The second thing is uh, you need to get some uh, Dura Strip or True Strip, I'm sorry, from uh, Dura Coat or somebody else. It doesn't matter. Some kind of good stripper and strip all your grease, strip all of your uh, paint and old extra bluing and everything off your rifle. Get all the rust off of it. I had to take some 400 grit sandpaper to this rifle uh, before I could. Uh, strip it down and clean it. I had a little bit of rust issue. That's why I'm re-bluing it all. I tried the Birchwood Casey stuff uh, to re-blue it. it. It didn't do a very good job. It was either me or the product itself. I don't know, but it didn't turn out very good. So I thought I'd give this uh, Dura Blue a try and put it on YouTube for you guys. Alright guys, it's time for the second coat. i make sure we're All right, guys, it's time for the second coat. One thing you got to realize about this stuff, the overspray on it's pretty severe, so you want to make sure that whatever's behind it, you don't care about it getting painted on. And I know it's probably pretty hard to see in the video right now, but the, uh, the second cone is significantly darker. It looks significantly better. Another great thing about this product is I've already done it on a uh, on an old 410 that I'm rebuilding for my cousins. Uh, he's eight years old; it'll be his first shotgun, so we're pretty excited about it. But uh, all of your roll markings and all of your stampings for your barrel gauge or or the manufacturer and stuff like that all tend to come through uh, this coating. So that's a cool thing about it. Um, even though it is pretty thick, your chamber markings and all that stuff will go through so you don't have to worry about uh, not being able to see what kind of gun it is afterwards so it's it's on the safety aspect that's that's pretty cool nobody wants to chamber the long wrong load in a gun but just uh, keep the coats light and it won't run and uh, I think wait another 10 minutes like I'm gonna do here in a second and then I'll uh, come back and give it third coat and see what it looks like see if I want to put any more on it or just leave it at three guys uh, this is my third coat it's probably gonna be my final coat because it's pretty dark at this point um, I'm gonna spray it down and then uh, I'm gonna wait about 24 hours and let it dry it, they're usually pretty dry to handle within about a couple of hours depending on your outside temperature and stuff like that humidity level uh, but you don't want to use it for about three weeks um, after you put the coating the last final coating on it's got a cure time in it so um, basically you know follow the directions spray it 
clean it the way it says to clean it and uh, you're not gonna have problems with this it's uh, it's pretty simple I'll show you the 410 that I did earlier uh, a couple uh, yesterday um, and that brings up another point these cans um, once you mix them they have a little mixture valve down here uh, that puts the hardener inside of it uh, once you once you activate this can it only lasts between 12 and 48 hours depending on uh, temperature and stuff so I've got probably a quarter of a can left and I've done two guns with it uh, and that's three coats a piece and I'll still have probably a little bit left over uh, so you know it goes a long way so I'm gonna put this final coat on uh, wait a couple of days uh, to finish up the YouTube video let it cure and harden and I'll put my rifle back together and show you guys what I got Magazine tube looks pretty good. Light coats with this. It, it doesn't take a whole lot to cover everything. You don't really want heavy coats because then it'll start running and you don't want it to run. But if you can apply spray paint, you can apply this, and this is going to last a whole lot longer than spray paint. Uh, the 410 I did is, is uh, set up, and it is smooth as glass. It, it's it's really wonderful stuff. It's it feels like a ceramic coating almost, uh, but it's got a deep deep blue in it. Uh, the product comes in several different colors. There's blue, there's black, and there's blue black blue black is what I'm using I didn't know what I wanted so I just got the combination of the two and uh, like I said it's it's really dark looks really good uh, really glossy and uh, you can see through it to see your roll marks and your stamps and uh, it really really makes the firearm look a lot better a whole lot better and hopefully this will last a whole lot longer it's supposed to be um, about like the Duracoat is uh, on longevity and uh, stuff like that. But I don't know uh, about the 410 because I'm gonna wait the three weeks before uh, we give it out to the cousin and uh, let him tear it up. So I don't really know how long it's gonna last. Um, these are the first two firearms I've done with them. So anyway, uh, Durablue, spray on bluing by Duracoat. Comes in a can like this. Easy to apply, easy to do. Follow the directions on the can to the T. Um, make sure everything's clean because it won't spray over rust. If you have rust on the firearm, it'll spray over it, but you can see the rust underneath it. If you've got pitting and stuff like that, like I had on this old 410 that I did, because it's like 70 years old, I took a wire wheel to it on my grinder and cleaned it up really well. Uh, tried to get as much out of it as I could. I took 400 grit sandpaper to this because it was rusted in some spots. This is an old 3030 from the mid 80s um, Had some surface rust on it. I took some 400 grit sandpaper buffed out the rust cleaned out the rust uh, Luckily, I didn't have any pitting but um, You can see a little bit of the pitting through it on the 410 shotgun, and I'll show you guys pictures of those um, But it's not so bad that it, it really detracts from the, the firearm too much uh, like I said Durablue by Duracoat, uh, Lauer, I believe it's Lauer uh, Weaponry, LCW Manufacturing. Uh, look them up, same people that make Duracoat. Uh, and if you can apply spray paint, you can apply this. And like I said, I'm no professional and it made it look really, really well. So my recommendation is to go get it, use it, and uh, hopefully there'll be some more YouTube videos out there uh, on the longevity of it. All right, guys, here is the 410 shotgun that I rebuilt for the cousins. And here is my 3030 that you guys seen me painting earlier. Now, the difference in the two paint jobs on it is this is a fresh out of the can paint job, and you can, it's kind of hard to see. I don't have the best lighting in here. I'm using a flashlight, but the bluing is super dark, super blue 
super smooth. It feels like porcelain, and it's very shiny. Uh, it looks it looks really good. I was extremely impressed with the results, and uh, extremely happy with it. Now the 3030 came out matte black, and I think the reason why it did this is because I waited until the next day to do this and some of the uh, bluing and the hardener probably set up in the can and uh, anyway I'm not disappointed with it uh, the durability of it seems to still be there along with the Dura Blue the only difference is um, it's not as glossy it's not deep looking like a deep bluing it came out just matte black so I would assume that's probably what their matte black kind of looks like I haven't used it. This is the first Duracoat product I've used. But, um, like I said, the bluing on the 410 shotgun, the breakover, is extremely deep colored. It filled in very well over the roll marks. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see probably on this video, but uh, you can read all the roll marks in it. It came out extremely smooth, and it looks really nice. Uh, I was impressed. It looks like a professional bluing job, and I'm no professional. So, here's a side by side comparison of the two. Uh, you got a deep blue in the shotgun, and you got a matte black finish on my 3030. So, like I said, I'm not disappointed because I was kind of expecting it to be deep blue, but I understand that it didn't hold its properties, I imagine, overnight. And it says so on the can uh, that you need to use it in a pretty quick time. And uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not upset. It's uh, it's an old hunting rifle anyway, so I really just wanted the 410 shotgun to come out good for the cousins. It's going to be their first shotgun, so they'll be pretty excited about it. But there's no other uh, videos on YouTube yet about the DuraBlue product, so I figured I'd make one. I was interested to see how it looked, and uh, like I said, I'm no professional, and this came out amazing way better results in this than I thought that I could produce myself so the shotgun had a lot of pitting in it and uh, I took a wire wheel to the receiver and wire brushed all of it you can kinda see a little bit of the holes because it is almost you know so clear and such a such a deep bluing you can see move it out of the light a little bit um, you can see the the little bit of pitting that was left over I took uh, 400 600 and 250 grit sandpaper to get it out plus a wire wheel on my bench grinder so um, here's a little better angle on the roll marks and the stamping for the gauge but uh, like I said it's amazing you guys should give it a try